I just think that it is unconscionable, but completely predictable what we have just witnessed today. Because while there has been serious conversation about the need to address issues of discrimination, surveillance, and um, other issues of privacy and constitutionality, not one person from the Democratic side has taken seriously the very real discrimination that is happening now in the name of critical race theory. But instead, I was ridiculed. And then when I dared to try to take a video of this, I was intimidated, just like parents face in school boards and school districts all across the country. And do you know what? A federal judge has validated what we have said to our school board for two years. Right. We have been ignored. And the one thing that I think every Democratic lawmaker should recognize as a word of advice is that the parents spoke up in Virginia and they elected Governor Glenn Youngkin. The parents spoke up in San Francisco and they recalled three school board members. And who was one of those school board members? She was this woman who dared to use the N-word about Asians calling us the house N-word. And she has now lost her job. There is a very real discrimination with the privilege matrix, the oppression matrix that is targeting brown and black parents and children. And then also, we must care about all children. This is a very real book, not my idea, and it's certainly not my idea. It says whiteness is a bad deal. And then a contract with the devil. No child in America should ever feel shame. No child should ever feel discrimination. And it is unconscionable that we do not recognize that we cannot replace one hierarchy of human value with another hierarchy of human value. We must protect the integrity of humanity. That is so well said. And, you know, I'll just close with this and I'll yield back. But we used to all agree upon Dr. King's admonition that we be judged by the content of our character, not the color of our skin. And this has now gone full circle the other way. People are being discriminated against because of what they look like. And I thought that's what we were all against. But CRT is doing this. It is insidious. And they're putting it in the curriculum. And however well intended some people may think that it was at its origin, Madam Chair, it has turned into a weapon that is being used against children. And that is detestable. And we will stand against it at every turn. I yield back.